Well, what's going on, everybody? I'm about to season these uh, short ribs I had got from Cousins in Philadelphia here on Woodland Avenue. I think I had got about six pounds. So I'm about to season them with some garlic powder, some soul food seasoning, and I'm going to put some steak sauce on there. And I'm going to cut up some onion. I had got a, a, a whole onion. Um, some green pepper. A little yellow sweet red. A little yellow sweet pepper. And this red sweet pepper. All into this meat here after I season it. So, just stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to start seasoning the uh, meat here. I had cut up the vegetables already and just put them in a bowl. So, because my camera girl is not here, she had to go to school today. And what time is it? It's 8.46 in Philadelphia here. So, I'm adding the garlic pepper to the meat. I'm going to do both sides. Now, I'm adding... The soul food seasoning. I'm gonna turn them over as much as as I can. You know, I got it in this bowl here. I don't have no uh, cutting board, and I really don't want to use a cutting board to season no meat on because you can get a lot of bacteria and salmonella poisoning and stuff like that. So we're gonna add some more soul seasoning. And garlic pepper as much as you want. You know, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just seasoning, you know. And you just turn the meat around and let it soak on up. And, um, and it's here in this bowl. Just let it soak on up. And maneuver, maneuver it around. All I used was soul food seasoning and garlic powder. If you want to use other seasonings, you can. But I'm not going to use so much of that salty stuff. Because I'm adding peppers and stuff like that. So what you want to do is, you want to get your uh, wood. I'm getting ready to put my meat in to put in the oven. My casserole. This is an old one. Yeah, it look kind of beat up, but I'm telling you, it cooks it really nice. Just lay them on in there. And lay them on in. Lay them on in here. And put you some vegetables on there that you had cut up. Them onions and peppers. Yeah, you gotta like, you know... You don't want to cut them up little like you cutting up, you know, vegetables for a uh, salad or something. Uh, salad. No, you're cutting them up for this meat to bake in the oven. Okay, put some more, the rest of them, on then these is, um, short ribs. And I had got six pounds from the store Cousins here in Philadelphia on Woodland Avenue. Put some more peppers and onions on top. Just like that. I already got my oven on 350 already. Preheated my oven. Already. Okay. About to put some steak sauce on here. Original steak sauce. I had got it from Save A Lot. Yup. I saved. It don't have to be no, you know, name brand and all this here. You know, it's just some steak sauce. So I'm about to add the steak sauce. And you just, you know, want to put it over it like this. That's why I didn't add so much other seasonings because I was using the steak sauce on there. And that has a lot of sodium in it too. You know, it has sodium in it. Yeah, it has sodium in it. It has sodium in it. So I didn't need to use all that seasoning and all like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some aluminum foil, pop it in the oven at 350 and cook these for about three hours. I want them to really... Uh, 
like, you know, I want the meat to fall off the bone. I really want them to go. So I'm going to bake them in the oven. I'll add a little water. I'm going to show you in a minute. Just watch. Okay, like I said, I'm adding some water with my measuring cup. I had put two cups of water in there, and I'm going to pour it on the sides. Not all so much on your seasoning, all around its sides. Two cups because they're going to be in the oven for about three hours. So that way I don't even really have to add any more water to them. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil, place it in the oven, and I'll show y'all the and results. 